Let's bring in Arkansas GOP Senator Tom Cotton. Uh, Senator, this is a crisis any way you slice it. And when Jen Psaki says on Friday, if you're a kid, you're allowed to, an unaccompanied minor, you're allowed to come in. What do you think they, how that translates in Honduras, Guatemala, and El Salvador? <laughs> Well, thanks for having me on, guys. Brian, the way it translates is come to America, we'll let you in, we'll put you on a bus wherever you want to go, and we'll pay for everything. I mean, this is a border crisis. This is the Biden border crisis. But, you know, if you're Joe Biden, the Democrats, uh, and you, they don't believe in borders, they don't therefore think it's a crisis. They think that this is a feature, not a bug of their policy. I mean, they literally turned detention centers that are designed to turn people away at our borders into reception centers. That's what they're going to call them. What, again, what signal does that send? We've seen the signal that it sends. We've seen migrants wearing their shirts that say, Biden, let us in. All this is going to do is build more and more pressure at the border as more and more people make the very dangerous journey across Mexico to get into our country. And how is this the, the moral, the virtuous thing to do either? I mean, the uh, Biden administration is essentially saying, if you're willing to make that long, dangerous journey, if you're willing to put your life at risk, or your kid's life at risk, we'll put you in. But what about all the other people around the world who would like to come here, like to partake in the American economy and the American way of life? They get no chance to. It, it's totally amoral, and it should stop right mm -hmm. now. Some people wait, you know, five years to get a status in our country, but now they're saying we can only hold you, we're only gonna hold these families for 72 hours and then they can go free into the United States. Is that the right way to handle it? No, of course not, Ainsley. Look, all these people are being, when they show up at the border, they're being coached to say a few magic words about a credible fear of persecution. Well, I I'm sorry if your country is poor and has a lot of crime. That is not grounds to be admitted into the United States. We'd have a very generous program for people who are already here in the country and are worried about being deported back to places where they might face persecution over their political views, for instance, right. like Hong Kongers who've had their freedom stolen from them. We have generous refugee programs for people around the world to go to our embassies and consulates and apply to come here. Our asylum system is not designed for people to show up at our border, coached by a bunch of do-gooder, non-governmental organizations that often get taxpayer money, say a few magic words, be released to a Holiday Inn across the border, and then given a plane or a bus ticket to go wherever they want in the country, and then not even show up a year or two later for their court hearing. The, the big question is whether or not some of them have COVID when they're released into the country, uh, which would be very disappointing. Uh, S Senator as you know, Senate passed the president's uh, and the Democrats' $2 trillion relief bill uh, over the weekend. Now it heads to the House. Uh, Nancy Pelosi says they're going to pass it. It's going to be on Joe Biden's desk by the end of the week. The White House has made it very clear they want to go really big because big is better than not big enough. Here's the White House communications director. Watch. <coughs> This is an incredibly transformational, uh, frankly, progressive piece of legislation. You heard Senator Sanders say that this was the best piece of legislation for working people in the modern history of this country. This is a bill that reflects President Biden's belief that the best way to get the economy back on track and get it growing is to invest in working people and right. middle class people. And, you know, Senator, no doubt there are a lot of people who are suffering. Um, the Washington Post did a breakdown. An average family of four in Massachusetts with an income of about $53,000 before the pandemic, if one of the parents is now unemployed, they're going to get $22,000 cash from the federal government, plus unemployment, plus child benefits. By the time it's all done, that family is going to get $50,000 out of this bill. Yeah, and, and many people who have not lost any income at all are going to get uh, money as well. I mean, young people who didn't file tax returns last year but are now working at fancy investment banks or law firms are going to get cash as well. That's one of our objections is that this bill was so poorly targeted. Look, we were more than willing to work with the Democrats, as we did multiple times last year, to pass a targeted relief bill that would help those people who have actually been hurt by coronavirus. But look how crazy some of the Democratic ideas are. I mean, they had a chance on Saturday morning to stop checks from going to prisoners from going to the Boston bomber, for instance. And on that vote, they declined. Every single Democrat wanted to continue the practice of sending checks to prisoners. They had a chance to turn down money for 
uh, sanctuary cities that, and sanctuary states. That was my amendment. Again, they turned it down. They had a chance to stop money from going to schools that are closed. They want to keep sending money to schools that are closed and not even teaching their kids in person. They turned it down. It just goes to show how radical their ideas are. Is that true that Dylan Roof, the guy who walked into that church in Charleston, South Carolina and killed all those people, he's going to get a check? Every prisoner in the United States, if they have any tax forms filed, is eligible for a check under this bill. The Democrats had a chance to stop that from happening on Saturday morning, and they voted it down. I suspect you'll be hearing more about that next year on the campaign trail. Uh, listen, uh, Senator, it's so disturbing because this was supposed to be the easiest thing to get bipartisan support for. The rest of the stuff is off the charts to the left. I mean, this voting act, this H.R. 1, is absolutely insane. The federal government's going to control how we vote and set up rules. I'm pretty sure that's not constitutional. Here's which, how Joe Biden... The president characterized it yesterday. Last week, the House of Representatives passed H.R. 1, the For the People Act of 2021. This is a landmark piece of legislation that is urgently needed to protect the right to vote and the integrity of our elections and to repair and strengthen our democracy. I hope the Senate does its work so I can sign it into law. Whatever it is, uh, H.R. 1 for the People's Act implements mandatory automatic voter registration, really, just by being born. Allows voters to substitute photo ID with sworn written statements. Fantastic. Expands mail-in voting. That went so well last time. Restores voting rights for convicted felons. It's about time. People in jumpsuits got their rights. Encourages statehood for D.C. How do you feel about it? Yeah, they call it the For the People Act, Brian. It should be called For Democratic Politicians. It overrides the laws of all 50 states, and it does make permanent a lot of the one-time untested voting methods we used last year, like mandatory mail-out voting. Uh, it requires states to allow curbside voting or absentee ballot drop boxes. A as you say, it mandates ballot harvesting, a practice that is so susceptible to fraud that an entire House of Representatives election was invalidated two years ago because of it. It requires your tax dollars to go to politicians and their campaigns with whom you disagree. Imagine your tax mm -hmm. dollars funding people but Senator, like Bernie Sanders is this or David, Elizabeth Warren. It, it, can it pass on a simple majority in the Senate? I mean, some are saying that there's a way around the filibuster that the 50 votes with the vice president could pass this. No, absolutely not, Brian. And I'm not sure it could pass with 50 votes either. I mean, some Democrats, I think, would balk at a bill that also regulates political speech. In the 60 days for election, it would make a federal crime spreading so-called misinformation or disinformation. Well, who do you think is going to be responsible for deciding yeah, what right. misinformation Twitter. is? Is it going to be the, a, New, a New York Times fact checker or Facebook or Twitter? The same people who said that the accurate story about Hunter Biden's laptop three weeks before the election was false and had to be suppressed online. This is a frontal assault on the First Amendment and your rights of political speech at the time those rights matter most in the 60 days for an election. And if someone gives money to AOC, let's say they give her $200 in campaign funds, then she also then she'll get by from the federal government $1,200. It's a six to one ratio, right? Yeah, your tax, your tax dollars will be going to fund campaigns of the politicians with whom you vehemently disagree. Look, we have raised plenty of money in our campaigns. We saw that last year. Politicians don't need your tax dollars to fund and spread their messages. But I, ju but I just think this is unconstitutional, right? States have rights to run elections, in some cases agonizingly so, the way they want. Yeah, Brian, that's right. The Founding Fathers put the responsibility for elections primarily with the states. Now, Congress has some power, but it doesn't have the kind of sweeping power that right. this bill asserts to essentially federalize all election pr practices while also suppressing political speech at the height of a political campaign. But, as you said, can't really pass the Senate, so it's not going to go anywhere. But we'll stay tuned. Let's hope not. All right, Senator, thank you very much for joining us live. Thank you all. Have a good day. Thank you. Good you week. Too. Good yes. week.